Hey Steve, it's Smooth Virus here. So, yeah, I watched your video response this afternoon, and I am compelled to respond. Um, let me, uh, since it's a nice night and it's warm outside, I, I think it's raining, so you might hear some uh, rain noise coming in through the window. I'm going to have a nice Belgian ale while I respond to your video. And hopefully this won't go real long, but it might because I actually had to take notes um, to kind of respond to a lot of the points you made. Let me leave the sediment in the bottom. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, uh, I had uh, subscribed to your channel and uh, watched some of your videos uh, yesterday and uh, today and some of Bill's videos. Um, and I thought they were interesting, so I subscribed to your channel. Um, but what I'm about to say is probably going to surprise you because... I don't think this is what you were expecting to hear. I do disagree with you on your belief that the pickup artist community is a scam. Uh, first off, as to the conspiracy theory aspect of it, personally, I don't think the CIA cares. And as far as feminists go, I think either feminists do not see it as a threat or they don't believe that it works. So we would say that it does not exist in their reality. And I'm sorry that it didn't work out for you. Um, you know, you've, you've got a lot of negative feelings about... Um, the pickup artist community and David D'Angelo and a lot of these other guys. And I can appreciate where you and Bill are coming from because I was in the same place as you one time. Um, where you are right now, or at least appear to be, is some place that I was as well. And I was in a place where I was deeply frustrated with, at my own lack of skill at dating and um, really harboring some feelings of anger not tremendous feelings of anger but some so actually we have a lot in common uh, you're 37 I am also 37 and we grew up with a lot of the same cultural influences so uh, one thing that I believe personally really messed me up uh, especially in my outlook towards women and dating um, was a lot of Hollywood romantic comedy movies that I watched on HBO when I was a kid um, there's a lot of very completely unrealistic uh, depictions of the way courtship and romance works especially from the male point of view. Uh, one example is I just watched a movie called The Whole Nine Yards, which is a comedy, and it, of course it's silly, but um, in the movie, the main character, is, uh, played by Matthew Perry, uh, gets this woman uh, alone in a hotel room with him, who's the wife of this notorious... Uh, gangster guy and uh, says well you know the first time I saw you walk into the room I I fell madly in love with you and uh, she responds to this by um, by spending the night with him and I, I think as we all well know this is completely fantasy things like that never never happen in real life um, 
it's Hollywood, it's fantasy, but it messes you up. And when I was young, I thought things like that really happened. I thought that the sweet nerdy guy always winds up getting the girl in the end. And the truth is that that's not that is not reality. So moving on. Um, what I'm going to tell you is that the pickup artist community has worked for me. Uh, I feel that it's been a very positive influence in my life, and I have made very many close, close friends um, from the pickup artist community. I have not talked about this on YouTube before. But I have personally been involved in what we call the, the, the pickup artist community since about 2000 uh, when I was on the alt.seduction.fast Usenet news group. And back at that time, um, really the only guy that was doing anything commercial was Ross Jeffries. Uh, nobody knew who David D'Angelo was. And Mystery was just this guy that posted really cool messages on um, on Usenet. So, there you have it. Um, so anyway, uh, around the year 2000, about eight years ago, I found out about the community and became involved in it. And I started to apply some of the things that I was learning um, when I was going out. And I actually got a girlfriend, like, right away, uh, within a few weeks. And this was someone that I dated for three years. And it didn't work out. We broke up. And... Um, for a long time after that, I dabbled in the community, but I wasn't able to uh, to get dates with women consistently. Um, I would get some here and there, and I tried different things. I tried the online personals like you, and at first uh, I did really well at that, but um, as time went on, it became less and less successful. Um, and as I said in my other video, women that have a profile on uh, an online dating site are getting 50, 100 responses a day, so you are correct in that the online dating scene in particular is certainly stacked against the guys. So, for several years, um... I would cycle through experimenting with different community things and uh, would get frustrated with it and then I would take time off from it. So last year, uh, 2007, I went out and I took a boot camp from a company called Rise. Uh, they're here locally in Washington, D.C. I'll put a link up to one of their videos on um, the description over here. Uh, and after I took that boot camp, things changed. Uh, I was absolutely determined to get my maximum bang for the buck out of the money I spent on that. So I... Uh, Met some guys through that that were a lot better than me at flirting and dating. And uh, they mentored me and helped me out. I would go out with them and they would tell me things that I was doing wrong. And I would correct that behavior. And I got results. Um, a couple of weeks after I took the boot camp. I went out to a bar with some friends of mine and I got 
five phone numbers in one night from different women. And after that happened, I just came to the conclusion, hey, you know, this online dating thing is so much work just to get one phone number when I can go out with my friends and get five in one night. Why am I wasting my time with online dating? 